morning, everybody. It is, I don't know the date, but it's the seventh and eighth races for KRA. Uh, we got a double header this weekend, and I'm currently sitting third in points, so a couple nice finishes here would be huge. Um, Casey's, I don't know where he's at in Sportsman. He's in the mix as well, but we gotta get him some good finishes. So hopefully this weekend we can get just a couple good finishes. It's a beautiful day out today. Looks like it's gonna hold. I mean, there's not a cloud in the freaking sky. We got mom and Finley here as well, and then Maddie will be here before too long. Look at that little guy. So it's a, shaping up to be a really good weekend. We'll uh, we'll see how much speed, we get, speed we've got today and uh, keep you guys updated. But these Burrells, man, They've been good to us the last couple races. We're trying to keep that momentum going. Actually, in the uh, time away, we got some tune-ups. We got Matt and the boys hooked us up. been thinking about is you know as I've been walking down here Ben has started this theme of oh you know like deep thoughts with Ben and then he was gonna do a tribute and they always seem to last one week but the one thing you've got we'll just informally call this the morning walk with dad and at least it's consistent it doesn't have a title or it hasn't had a title until now <laughs> The morning walk with dad got your coffee got your well you can't see it but i've got something else and uh I'm gonna kick in the boys first practice of the day we'll see how it goes this track we're racing today one thing i can tell you right now when we go to the little segments where we talk about how qualifying went if we didn't qualify well we're not we're probably not going to end up finishing well. This is a tight track, very few passing zones. You got to make your own passing zones. Not a lot of long straightaways. The highest gear will run all year, uh, but it's fun. It, it is as tight as it is. It's not really tight, but the laps still take a minute, 16, 17 seconds. So longer for me. I have never felt better. I know I haven't qualified yet, and we all know how that goes, but I have never felt better than I do today. Cart just feels amazing, engine's there, it's awesome. Um, we'll see how I feel after qualifying, of course. Been going back to third grade on that one. I just noticed a man in a pit stall next to us. He's smoking a pipe. Yeah, does that look more sophisticated than a cigar? I don't see a change in my future. So I wrapped up my race, and it was uh, about as uneventful as you can get. I think uh, the highlights may show the start, and that's it. Passed one guy after he got off track, another guy just as he was leaving the track, and I went from 15th to 13th. But the good thing was I, I ran solid times. My fastest time was lap 10, and my second fastest time was lap 5. So part was consistent throughout, and uh, you know it was good to finish 13th. And um, after a few races ago, finishing back in the 30s several times in a row, that that was much better. So. Um, the car was fantastic and uh, much better than what it uh, 
much better than 13th and the engine was strong you know so thanks to matt and his crew and we just uh couldn't stick with the pack in front of us i had a chance i was right there and i just watched him drive away so that's something that you got to work on something i gotta work on just uh kind of would have liked to have stayed a little closer to him than i did but couldn't do it so i don't know why we have our big official regional manager watching this weekend so the pressure is on isn't it possible future geologist what do you see maybe rocks yep, tell her what we discovered okay thank you do you like the rocks yeah all right so cik race just finished so this is my first race of the day uh, i will be running light recall overweight i'm gonna keep saying that because it makes me you know like wow this guy finished blank and light well he was overweight or dang he finished first and he was overweight uh so i'm about 15 over in light i'm just gonna keep bringing that up i had a great time in that race you know i was i finished so i started 10th and i actually finished in 10th um so i'll ruin that suspense It was just such a great race. Like it's been a while since I've had a race where I just was, it was like falling in love with racing again. I mean, it was back and forth. It's exactly what you want out of the 265. Back and forth, mixing it up. bit crazy like it got a little dicey Overall clean racing. Hats off to everybody out there. Um, I like Caden, Evan. I think there was a second Caden. Jack. I'm trying to think who else was in that. Alan. Um, I'm sure I'm missing guys. Oh, Steven. I think those were like the five or six guys we were in the same crew together. Hats off to all you guys, man. Just great racing all around. Like, yeah, you know, we got a little bumpy and stuff, but it was great respect nobody pushed anybody off that i saw um it was fun it was a fun it was a fun way to finish 10th place uh so i'm gonna make a few changes to, to my cart for light and i think that's what's disappointing too is 
kind of similar to how I felt in qualifying. I just, I was still sliding a little bit. And with this heat, I made some changes and it didn't, it wasn't better or worse, it was just different. It was kind of like a different feeling. And I, as the race went on, I kind of drove a little bit better. Like I figured out how to make it handle a little better, but it's just not that, that super, like stupid fast, like I said earlier. Not stupid fast, like it can be. And so I'm chasing the setup a little bit. I'm gonna try a few things for the light race. Um, just because I knew I didn't have the cart to beat today. I wasn't I wasn't out there uh, a world breaker like I was in the last double header where I just I felt like I was the guy to beat all weekend. So uh, figure figure that out a little bit. I think the good thing is how fast I was considering the struggles I was having, man. I mean I was sliding everywhere and I still still ran with some of the best out there. So great run everybody. 10th place, I'll take it. It was a ton of fun. Yeah, good job, kid. That's probably the most fun I've had in a while racing. It know? looked like the most what, fun. One no really great finish, but uh, it was a good time. No, you finished 10th, so. Look at that. Right you finished where you started. But I mean, yeah, no, you were with a good pack. Okay, race one in the book. You know what? Let me actually go back to qualifying because I know you guys already know what's coming. Uh, I screwed the pooch in qualifying once again. Uh, I'm running two races for CIK, my first race, I qualified 20th. And for my second race, the one that I still hope to try to get in the championship for, I qualified 11th. It's tough. I'm not adapting well from the morning practice sessions to qualifying. I'm, I felt in, like a rocket ship in the morning. And then, and then it heats up, the track grips up, and I didn't, I didn't make the changes to it, account for that. So that's something that's on me. Got to work on that. Um, so my first race started 20th, and uh, it's always kind of crazy starting that far back because there's just so many carts. There's a lot going on. There was uh, some good battling going on. Some craziness, three wide going down the straightaway and carts getting into each other. Ultimately, I couldn't hang on to the, the, the pack. My rear was just sliding on exit and uh, just not quite there. So I think I, when I made my changes for this race, I think I overshot my rear when I widened it. So I've narrowed that thing back up for this next race. And that's the only change I'm gonna make. The cart, I'm just, I need it to feel as good as it did this morning. It's possible, I've just got to find it. Uh, so that's the goal, because if I can, I'll race with anyone. How did dad dad do? He could... Can you say mediocre? Uh, you made it from 20th to 13th. Did I really? Yeah, you really did. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, well that's okay. <laughs> when you say it like that, it's not so bad. I'd say that's a good race. I'm I would okay. say so too. It's windy, you're not going to get it. I just want to, you guys saw see one? the red van over there? That is what I'm aiming at right now to hit that traffic. It's like that old game paper toss back in like 2011. Ready? That was not Honestly, terrible. It wasn't that bad. wasn't bad. <laughs> it was better than I thought it would be. Played the wind right. <laughs> now you're ready. 
<laughs> you know, this is the quality footage you come to the stall racing vlog for. It's the end of the evening. We had a uh, uh, surprise thunderstorm come through that we had to rush through and get everything under the tent. So um, doing my post race a little bit late. You know, it, it went kind of typically for me this year. I mean, it was just another bad result. Started 11th. had a guy spin in front of me in a really unusual place it, it's turn two which is um, not a place you usually see guys spin out so I just didn't have anywhere to go t-boned them I got spun out into the grass had to pull it out Lost half a lap, and uh, that was that. So right now, I am tearing it down. Going to do my front end alignment and uh, all that good stuff. Get this cart ready for tomorrow because I've got to bounce back. I mean, this has just been... This, yeah, thank you, Finley. It's not been good. You deserve better, fella. What are you doing? What is this? Are you pushing my cart? You gonna push it? Hey, that's how that's how the season's gone. I mean, that that. I don't know why I would have expected any different. Yeah. Who spins out right there? Who spins out in turn two? Light race was. Oh, just not great. I mean, I, I have a good start. I'm, I'm running pretty well. I think I'm up in like fifth or sixth on the first few turns and then kid just didn't, uh, I don't know, he didn't have any he was trying to defend a position that once you your tires come in, you've got the grip, no problem, whatever, but it's the first lap. He had no grip and just literally slid right into me, pushed me off track, got a, a little bit of air, and it, I mean, my race is basically over. some laps and and uh, just tried to work on some stuff just not how I wanted it in the day you know I know I'm not running points in that class but I wanted it to be a bit a bit more of a triumphant finish to the day can't be too disappointed you know a tenth in a phenomenal field and I just had a blast race in the first race and then you know really that one thing doesn't happen who knows I could have been 
top three, top five in a light class I'm overweight on, I also could have finished, you know, 15th running slow. So it is what it is. You never know. The what ifs. Uh, it's a fun day, though. That's why I like double headers because I get, get to come back tomorrow and, you know, avenge today's poor performances. For those of you familiar with the vlog, you may know I sleep in a bunk normally, but we have converted the couch into a bed for this evening just because I my sleep has been very very terrible like last night was just a few hours so I'm gonna try this and we'll see how it goes so tomorrow morning expect a nice and refreshed and not tired Ben.